On August 6, 1927, Hilma Eriksson arrived in the United States from Sweden. She was not even 20 years old. Her older sister Emma was already living in Chicago and Hilma went to join her. Her other older sister Anna arrived shortly after. This move for the two of them was a dream come true. Hilma got a job working for a wealthy family where she learned English. Hilma's Victrola and records were brought to the park where the Swedes in the area would come and dance. Anna quickly adjusted to life in America, learning English as fast as she could because she was eager to become an American. Unfortunately, they were not in the United States for more than a few short years before their mother died and a telegram arrived. The telegram was from their youngest sister, Lily. This telegram insisted that one of the sisters had to return to take care of the family, especially Lily. None of them wanted to leave their new home. Since Emma was married, it was down to Hilma or Anna. They drew straws, and the short straw would have to return to Sweden. Anna lost, but she always intended to move back to the United States. But World War II started, and when Anna got married, her return to America was impossible. She was able to visit her sisters only twice, once shortly after the war and once in 2004. She lived her life in Gothenburg, Sweden on the harbor, where she could see the boats coming and going, reminding her of her lost dream of America. Her son was given a very American sounding name and she never lost her ability to speak English. Many, many years later, an unfortunate truth came out. The telegram from Lily, insisting that one of the sisters return home, wasn't really true. She just didn't want to live with their very stern, domineering older brother, and none of the sisters had to return. I have heard my grandmother tell this story many times, each time with tears in her eyes. She is the daughter of Hilma, the sister fortunate enough to win a random drawing of the straws. I am the fourth generation Swedish American woman to continue to live out the American dream that first brought the sisters to the United States. My family has held on to many Swedish traditions, much like Anna held on to what she learned in America. In 2008, the 31 descendants of Hilma and Carl Martinson returned to Sweden and met with over 150 relatives still living there, including the descendants of Anna. There I learned that much of what we hold on to is different from what has continued to progress in Sweden, much as the America that Anna loved and Hilma knew has changed. As new generations are born in America, cultures mix and dilute, and I often wish that more of the cultural heritage that was shed was kept. What is kept and what is lost when immigrating is an intentional choice. It is now my job to rediscover the culture that was left behind.